I hope you've been practicing your ha-ha-has doing your laughing stretches because we're about to have ourselves a real giggle fit here over this weirdo loser embarrassing himself in a big way. This post blew up on Twitter right now, so it seems like I'm not the only one with a naughty little guilty pleasure here who enjoys laughing at unhinged creeps. So the woman here has been talking to this fine, gentle sir from Bumble, and she asks him, I guess I'm just wondering what your expectations are from a partner. He goes, like, in terms of expectations from women? Or men, I don't know how you swing. And he goes, women, not men. He uses two periods here, so it feels like this was, like, very serious to him. He put his foot down on that one, so there would be no confusion. So then she says, lol, okay, then yeah, what are your expectations for your girlfriend, wife, whatever? Can I be honest about it? It might be seen as outdated or something, haha. To which he says, yeah, of course, this is a judgment-free zone. It's almost cute to imagine him typing that, like, can I be honest about it? And then she has to reassure him, like, yeah, of course, this is a safe space for a super special Sigma like you. And she's about to unleash the demon with that one. She doesn't know <laughs> what, she, what d deal with the devil she just made here. Now, while she might not be judging him, I certainly will be. I'm gonna be judging this motherfucker like dread. I'm gonna charge him with a capital offense of cringe here, because it's about to get brutal. So he spills his guts. Honestly, I'm looking for a traditionally feminine woman, someone who isn't going to mind being the child rearer and homemaker, someone who's going to take care of her appearance and herself and just all around is content to be a female in our relationship. I know that's pretty anti-feminist or whatever, but it's just how I feel. Lol. So he expresses his preference when it comes to a relationship and a partner, and all power to ya. Uh, I believe this is something called trad wife, a term I just recently learned with this post going viral. So forgive me if I'm not 100% familiar with the nomenclature here or what it means, but based on what I've read, it refers to like a stay-at-home partner who will cook clean and take care of the children. Basically anything you used to see in old black and white television shows when it comes to the family dynamic is what trad wife refers to. It even stands for traditional wife, I think. So... He's just expressing that that's what he's looking for here. And she responds very positively to it, saying, Oh, Slay, I don't think that's anti-feminist or outdated at all. To be honest, that's pretty similar to what I want too, lol. Kind of my dream, if I'm being honest. And he goes, Really? Well, ra oh, Raggy, we've got ourselves a real match made in heaven. These two are sounding perfect for each other. What they want out of a relationship and a partner seems to align wonderfully. So what could possibly go wrong here, right? I mean, how do you fuck this up? This is like fate bringing the two perfect soulmates together from the sound of things. So she goes even further. She's excited. She goes, yeah, double exclamation point. She's fucking pumping her fist here. I'd love to be able to focus on making my house a home, working on myself, and just be taken care of without having to stress about expenses or money. And then here's where it starts to go tits up. What do you mean? There's cracks in the ship. It's starting to sink. He's got his monocle on. He's about to start investigating, interrogating. He's entering fight or flight mode because something here went awry in his eyes and he's not too happy about it. So she explains, just that I'd love a traditional man who's going to cover my expenses and make sure I'm getting what I want. Someone who brings that kind of masculine energy. And he goes, so you're looking for a guy who isn't going to mind buying you whatever you want and basically will just bankroll your whole life? She's like, w uh, I don't know if I'd put it like that. I think you're starting to see where this is going. You're about to see the fork in the road and we're going down the path to Insano style. So you're a gold digger slash user, basically. And she goes, we're like someone who will take care of our family financially so I can take care of him and his kids, etc. And she goes, no, LMAO, I promise, referring to not being a gold digger. How is that any different from you wanting your girlfriend slash wife to take care of the home and their kids? Feels like a double standard for you to call me a gold digger. Now let's break this down here and follow the breadcrumbs of his logic. So he wants a stay-at-home wife that will take care of the kids, cook, clean, do laundry, wipe his ass, wipe his tears when he fails his bronze to silver promos in League of Legends for the 50th time in a row. But when she expresses that she'd want a traditional masculine husband that would be working and providing financially for both her and the household, he takes a big issue with that. He starts wiggling his finger. Well, actually, I shouldn't have to do those things. You're a gold digger for expecting that of me. And that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because as the initial tweet points out, 
He wants a traditional wife without him being a traditional husband. He then goes into a full soiled diaper temper tantrum meltdown. It's not a double standard. It's different because the things that I'm looking for, emotionally stable, takes care of herself, good with kids, are inherently female traits. Good women naturally have that stuff. You're looking for some rich guy who can buy you stuff. That's not naturally part of being a guy. It's totally different. I mean, especially because of how expensive life is in general these days, you think I'm going to be able to afford a $500,000 house on one salary just so you can play dress up and not have to worry about a job? You expect to not contribute to the bills or the cost of living? Fuck you. I knew there was something wrong with you. No wonder you tried to humiliate me at the restaurant. I should have left right then and there. I would bet a large amount of money that that humiliation he's referring to is something extremely trivial that nobody else in the world in their right mind would actually take as disrespectful. I actually guarantee what it is, is she asked if she could split the bill with him or maybe provide tip on their date at the restaurant. And when she said that, he's like, oh, my pride. Uh, you think I'm broke? <laughs> You've humiliated me and the whole restaurant knows it now. But anyway, let's go through this whiny wiener's diary. So he starts, no, 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 no. Listen here, harlot. These are inherently female traits. Being good with kids, emotionally stable, those kind of things. Being rich is not an inherently male trait. You just want some rich Chad that can buy you everything you want so you can suck all his money out. You expect me to buy you a $500,000 house on a one salary income and you don't have to worry about getting a job so you can just stay at home and play dress up? Which is a wild point to try and make because you are literally asking her to do that. You are telling her you want her to be a trad wife, a stay at home partner, and then you're just shitting on her for being a stay at home partner, just boiling it down to you're just at home playing dress up. So you're like belittling her for what you want her to do, blaming her for not contributing to bills or the cost of living or anything when you are literally talking about how you want an angel that'll just be a stay-at-home trad wife. Like, I don't know how he can expect her to be a stay-at-home partner, taking care of kids, uh, clothes, laundry, the household, the day-to-day -day activities, all of that, and also still having a job on top of it too to provide for herself as well as you. That, that makes no sense. You'd have to take on the role of the provider. You'd have to put on your big boy pants and really tighten your bootstraps to get a, a job that would allow you to live that lifestyle because you would have to provide that in order for your wife to be able to do those things. Because with the expectations you have of her that you express here, she would not be able to get a job on top of all of that as well to help out. That's why the trad wife model also needs the trad husband on top of it that would be providing it. But he is right about one thing. It is nearly impossible to afford a house on a one salary income in today's climate. This is actually something we've talked about quite a bit on stream recently, but the cost of living right now is fucking tragic. It is unbelievably expensive. You'd have better luck winning a house from a game show like Deal or No Deal than being able to afford one with just a one salary income. Because the prices are ridiculous right now. It's fucking horrible. So he is right that it'd be unlikely that with just him working, he'd be able to buy a house for his family. But in that case, he would need to understand that his partner would also be working as well to help with that, thus wouldn't necessarily be able to provide all the trad wife things that he would expect of his partner. So she responds saying, my guy, chill out, because he is having a conniption right now. I never said I was looking for a rich guy or a 500k house or anything like that, just that I want a guy who can take care of me, especially if I'm raising his kids. How can your dream woman be the homemaker and child rearer if she's also working full time to pay the bills? I have absolutely no issue with gender roles or division of labor in a relationship, but you're not looking for a traditional woman. You're looking for a maid and nanny who can also help pay your bills. And she is right on the money with that one absolutely fucking cooked him with it. That is exactly what he's pretty much describing at this point. He's not really even looking for a trad wife. He's looking for a fucking sex robot, basically, that can double as a, basically, nanny. So, someone who's going to take care of the kids, take care of the entire household, but then he can still come home and stick his pathetic cock in and then call it a night with a brewski and passing out on the couch. And this is when the wheels fully come off. Fuck you! Just say you were only interested in me for my money. Next time you match with some sucker, tell him that up front so he doesn't waste his time with you. And then she says, I paid for last night, my dude. 
So that must be the humiliation he's referring to. She paid for the meal that they ate together, and he still is fuming about it. He's still just fucking steam coming out of his ears about it. And then she goes, what do you mean interested in you for your money? Shut the fuck up. My comp side degree is going to do way more for me than your business one ever will, bitch. Now I know why you're getting a finance degree. Probably so you can scout out the rich guys and try and steal their money. And she just goes, if you're going to curse me out and call me gold digger because I want a traditional man even though you want a traditional woman, something tells me you're not the type of guy I'm looking for. Lose my number, but I hope you have a good life. I really feel like behind his text messages, I can sniff the tears in his eyes. Like after he sent that final text message there, he threw his phone down and screaming and wailing into the bathroom where he locked himself in there for the next half an hour to calm down, splashing water on his face. These two, in the beginning, seemed to be perfectly in line with what they wanted out of a partner. This felt like a great match here. And yet, Goofball was able to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory here. Driving her as far away as possible, frightening her, and revealing that he is a massive, unhinged lunatic and a big old creep. Like, what in the world? She even paid for their dinner last night, too, and then he still had the gall to be like, You're only with me for my money. What? But the shamelessness still wasn't over yet. He came back later and then sent a message at 1.30 a.m. after all of this hoopla and just said, Hey, you up right now? Trying to booty call the girl that he just had this embarrassing temper tantrum in front of. Hey, sometimes you gotta just shoot your shot, I guess, even after you make an absolute fool of yourself. I don't know what fantasy land he's living in that would make him think that would work. I don't know what he was expecting. Maybe he thought the Men in Black went and neuralized her or something, so she totally forgot about these text messages. But that was never going to pan out well there at the end. I don't know why he thought he might get some action from it. But yeah, uh, I saw this floating around today and I just had to talk about it a little bit. I am so glued to these fucking awful text messages and like these awful dates and romance stories, man. I am in so deep on it. Anyway, that's about it. See ya.